Partridge Family star David Cassidy, 67, is placed in an induced coma with multiple organ failure and his family is told to prepare for the worst nine months after revealing he had dementia. David Cassidy is in a coma and is suffering from multiple organ failure, according to reports. The 67-year-old Partridge family star and singer was rushed to hospital in Florida three days ago. A source told TMZ that his condition was grim. He is believed to have been in failing health for the last two months. Doctors believe he could die if he doesn't get an urgent kidney or liver transplant. His family have been told to prepare for the worst. The gossip site says they have gathered at his bedside. A source told the blast he is in and out of consciousness and his condition is being monitored very closely. Cassidy is widely known for his starring role as Keith Partridge on the 1970s series The Partridge Family. In February, the star revealed he was battling dementia after he fell on stage during a concert in Los Angeles. His mother, actress Evelyn Ward, and his grandfather also had the condition. Fans were concerned for his well-being when he struggled through the gig in February. He stumbled on stage and forgot some of his words, prompting fears he had started drinking again. He told People magazine after the gig, I was in denial, but a part of me always knew this was coming. His mother the actress Evelyn Ward struggled with dementia until her death at 89 in 2012. In the end, the only way I knew she recognized me is with one single tear that would drop from her eye every time I walked into the room. I feared I would end up that way, Cassidy said. I want to focus on what I am, who I am and how I've been without any distractions, he added. I want to love. I want to enjoy life. Video emerged of the one-time teen heartthrob over the that showed him slurring, taking long breaks, telling rambling stories and even falling over at one point. He told the audience he will no longer be touring. While he vowed to make the show his last, he struggled to stay on his feet and play the guitar. Issues in Cassidy's personal life have been well documented over the last few years. He has filed for bankruptcy, divorced from third wife Sue Schifrin, has had multiple arrests, eye surgeries and went through a stint in rehab. At the end of February, he sat down with Dr. Phil to discuss his diagnosis. Dr. Phil told the singer that it appeared as though there were times that Cassidy was losing his place during the concert, to which Cassidy agreed. And then you said at one point I can tell you're not gonna listen so, I'm just gonna leave, and you did slip off the stage at one point, Dr. Phil said. Cassidy replied, not really slipped. No. But Dr. Phil told the singer, well, you slipped on the stage. If you noticed I'm one of the few people who still have monitors in front, Cassidy stated, before Dr. Phil said the monitors are in place of using an earpiece. The musician added, and when you have spotlight in your eyes and you have five eye surgeries as I've had. And I've talked a lot about it. You'll see me there, I tripped on that. But I certainly wasn't intoxicated and it has nothing to do with why I'm leaving. Certainly my dementia has a, has contributed to the reason why I don't want to go out and I don't want to hear, well, he looked like he was drunk or he looked like he was, I, I wasn't. Cassidy shared what he told his son, 26-year-old Bo Cassidy, about not wanting to succumb to the disease as his mother did. I want you to promise me you'll find a way to let me go and don't let me live like that, the entertainer told Dr. Phil of what he said to Bo. The singer, who has sold over 25 million albums, also shared the moment he realized he needed to see a doctor due to him experiencing his first symptoms of the brain disease. When friends of yours or family members begin to say to you, remember I just told you this two days ago and there's no memory of it that's when I began to be very concerned, Cassidy tearfully said. Dr. Phil then asked if that's what caused him to go and get checked out by a doctor. Oh my god, yes, Cassidy replied. The actor said he was diagnosed about two and a half years ago. During the interview set to air Wednesday, Cassidy also discusses his current relationship with his family and his fear of being a burden to them. His mother, the actress Evelyn Ward, struggled with dementia until her death at 89 in 2000.